In this video, I'm going to show you how you can hone your search to create a more sophisticated search strategy that will find you more results and highly relevant results. To start, you need to identify the key concepts or keywords in your research question or topic. In this case, I'm working from a research question, which is, what expectations do students have of online study in terms of course delivery? In this case, I might highlight the words expectations, students, and online study as keywords. If I want to start with a simple search, I would then search for the words expectations and online students. But I want to take it a little bit further. To come up with an alternative search strategy, I can think about synonyms. For example, when I think about online, I might also use the keyword distance or the keyword external. When it comes to expectations, I might also want to think about related concepts like needs and wants. So let's look at how I might refine my search for expectations online and students to create a more sophisticated search strategy that brings me back better results. We'll work one concept at a time. First of all, I can use the word online, the word distance and the word external in a single search. You'll note I've included the three words inside brackets and put the Boolean operator OR between them. The effect of this is that the database will see the brackets and recognise that this is one set of concepts. Then it will see the ORs and it will recognise that I want either the word online or the word distance or the word external. So that means that it will bring me back results that contain any of these three words. If I was to change this to the Boolean operator AND, then I would only get back results that mention online, distance and external. So that's one of the key concepts related to my search. Let's look at another. Another key word in my research question is the word course. In different parts of the world, different words are used to describe things like courses or subjects or units. In this case, I'm interested in course but I'm also interested in the concept of degree. Again, I've enclosed the keywords in brackets with the word OR in between them so that the database will bring me back results that contain either the word course or the word degree. My final concept is the idea of student expectations. Here, I've included two phrases. Phrases are denoted by the use of quotation marks or inverted commas around two or more words together. In this case, I'm looking for student expectations as a phrase or the plural students' expectations. Again, I've enclosed them in brackets and use the word or so that the database will bring me back results that contain either one of the two phrases. It's important to note that here we are looking for the phrases rather than individual words. And I can do that by using the quotation marks. Now I can put it all together to have a more sophisticated search strategy. This is where the brackets become really important. You can see on the first line, I've got the first concept, online or distance or external. Now I want the database to bring me back results that have one of those words in it, as well as one of the words within the course or degree brackets, as well as one of the phrases within the student expectations brackets. In order to make that happen, I need to use a different Boolean operator. This time I need to use the AND operator. The AND operator goes between the sets of bracketed concepts. Let's have a look at what this looks like in practice in the QDT library Quick Find. To use Quick Find, head to the library homepage at library.qut.edu.au. I'm going to enter my search into the Quick Find search box and then click on the magnifying glass to run the search. Because I'm off campus, I've been prompted to log in in order to get a more complete results set. So I'll do that now. Now I have 14,000 results, which is too many to look through. So I'm going to start refining my search. First of all, I'm going to select peer reviewed only to bring back only peer reviewed articles. 
That's brought down my results set to 5000 records. Next I'm going to select a format of journal article. And finally, because education is a fast moving field, particularly related to online learning, I'm going to reduce the date range so that I only have articles from the last five to 10 years. I'll start out with 10, which drops the results to 3610. And then I might refine further so that I'm just looking at results from the last five years. Now I have 1,910 results to look through. I can refine my search further using a number of different strategies. First of all, I could look at the abstracts for the articles that have come up and look at the subjects that have been applied to those articles. I could then add those subjects to my search string. Another way to refine my searching is to think about related keywords, including narrower concepts. For example, I could add the word synchronous to my search string, and that would allow me to get literature back related to synchronous learning experiences. Let's give that one a try. Because I'm using the Boolean operators and brackets, I need to make sure I add a Boolean operator here, and then I'm going to type in the word synchronous. Here I've got 100 results, which is a very reasonable amount to look through, that relate to online learning, in degree programs, student expectations, and synchronous modes. If I wanted to refine my search strategy to find articles that deal with either synchronous or asynchronous strategies, I could refine my search again using another set of brackets and with the addition of the word asynchronous. This expands my results set a little bit to 191 results. Now let's see what happens if I change the OR in the synchronous and asynchronous brackets to an AND. Now my results set is even narrower with 88 results. I could of course continue to search for these narrower concepts and related concepts until I identify the literature that is useful for my study. To summarize, to create a more sophisticated search strategy, you should think about synonyms for your keywords as well as related concepts. You should use Boolean operators AND and OR as well as brackets and quotation marks to allow you to combine words to come up with sophisticated strategies that get right to the heart of your research question or topic.